All right. We are now going to bring the skaters back on because that's what you want to see, right? Yes, please. <laughs> so, as before, the first team that's going to come out is the team that's always right, the team that's the smartest one on the track. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the referees and officials. We're just waiting a moment for our skaters. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the track, Sydney the Assassins. And now, our Wellington home base team that wants to hear your love and support, Richter City Roller Derby All-Stars Team! R-C-R-D, Richter City, who? R-C-R-D, Richter City, who? Richter City, whoo! And um, another quick thing for Richter City, who out in the audience knows Gorgasm? We've just had a uh, tweet from Gorgasm. Now she wants to hear the love for Richter City. Give it for Gorgasm! She's in some faraway land, and she's watching it live right now. So I believe the teams will have a warm up again. We'll just figure out what we're doing and then uh, when the refs give us the go-ahead, we will begin again. We wonder, uh, we're just wondering here up on the bench if there are any tweets coming through from countries other than New Zealand being an international game and all. Are we ready to say hello to some other countries? We'd like to say hello to our Swiss friends, IKEA. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Danger Danger. Always taking the opportunity to show off. Danger, have you been practicing? Actually, while, while she's still out on the track, ladies and gentlemen, it was uh, Suffragette's birthday yesterday. Hey, can, we all, can we all sing Suffragette happy birthday while she does a lap? OK, you ready? ready? Are you ready, everyone? Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Suffragette. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hooray! Hooray! 
any chance to embarrass Suffragette in front of a big crowd of people. And you can buy her a happy birthday drink after the game. Just at the uh, Chicago bar, we're having an after party. You're all more than welcome to come join us. You can come meet skaters from both teams. Yes, yeah, Sydney, Sydney will certainly be participating in that event. We have a strong commitment to merging of teams and showing everybody how friendly we are. We actually have 90 skaters in our league now, so we've grown a little bit too, making four teams for this coming season. This year, um, Sydney Roller Derby League, we're very lucky and proud to participate in uh, Sydney's Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. I don't know, does anyone here know about Sydney's Le Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras? Not a soul, that's great. Well, they do now. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll keep that to ourselves then, because, you know, we let the Kiwis It's, it's a fairly small thing, isn't it? It's quite a, it's, just quite it's, a low key kind of it's party. It's tiny, it's not... it was pretty much just us, and I don't know, I think it was like 600,000 of our closest friends. But uh, the theme this year was Say Something. And when, it, when, it, when is it? It happened already, dude. Oh, yeah. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Like a There's month blonde ago. under here. A month ago, you know? Um, I was hoping I could go. <laughs> I missed it. Well, you got like 50 weeks to save up for it. That's awesome. Hey, I just want to give another big shout out to our sponsors and supporters. I'd like to thank Snapper, CityLink, Multimedia, James Battlefield, the uh, second Asia Pacific Out Games in Wellington 2011, Southern Cross. And also a thank you to ALC Clothing, Under the Radar, ZM, Radioactive, Calico Jacks, R2, Jam Hairdressing, Whatson.com, Green Olive Homestay in Otaki, and Wagamama. And a special thank you and a shout out to our Derby fans in the audience! Without you, we wouldn't be here, so thank you for supporting us and keep coming to our games. We got a great season coming ahead. Five games, three teams. Don't forget, you can try to name our uh, third team on our Facebook page. This is actually the last game for the, um, the Assassins We're, before we um, draw up a new squad. Obviously, some of the players will be in the new squad, but some of the older players some, some of the players now might not be, and certainly there are new opportunities for the trainers and the bench managers and um, all the other spots as well, captains. All right, and Justicia is uh, the head referee and he's started the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, it is on like Donkey Kong. We got Braxton Kicks jamming for Richter City. We've got a strong pack of Rusty Stiletto, Scarface Claudia, Kiltia Sin, and Tough Bickies. Let's start this half off well. All right. Adrian taking the uh, taking it on as lead jam. Braxton hot on her heels. Oh, and she already called off the jam. Oh, some very nice point scoring by Braxton, able to get through the pack before that last whistle sounded, and get some points on the board. And that gap, ladies and gentlemen, that gap, which was quite big before, has closed all the way up. The last set of points have yet to be added, but uh, it's uh, quite close. Now, just have a look. Uh, Perky Nana is uh, starting in front of the, uh, the start-off line, which is actually and called cougaring. She was on three minors. She just forced herself a fourth minor. Hence, she's in the box. 
Great balls taking on Lee Jammer. April of the Hun controlling the pack there for Sydney. And we've got Ella Kazim. Oh no, she's not Lee Jammer, a change of mind. So Richter City has their wall set. Hater Aid trying to get rid of Sydney. that. Sydney Winnie Jammer. Winnie Bruce trying to get through there. Oh, it doesn't count if you have to cheat, I'm afraid. Sent to the box for cutting the track. Winnie Bruce Jackson is not the, the lead jammer, probably because she did something naughty to get through. Maybe bribed an official. Nice, Berkey. Use some knuckle dusters. And remember, every time she passes the pack, she gets the full score for the people in the penalty box as well. Now that is something you don't see very often. So Brexton back on the back on the track. She is trying to score points. Had she gone through the pack before she went to the penalty box? Gotta let her go. I think I think she had, and so I think that she can score points on that round. Or maybe not. Maybe not. So an excellent jam there again for Sydney. A little bit of confusion there with the scoring. And the, the referees, referees huh, call an official time timeout. <laughs> Purple monkey dishwasher. Ah. I don't think they actually. So it seems that everything's time? back in order. Trippy's always ready to entertain the crowd, though. Cousin Susie desperately trying to gain the attention of the referee. Sideshow Ho, the assassins pivot. Little Whippet Her being our spoiled. jam. And we're playing Slow Derby. We've got Tough Biggies as jammer for Rector City Roller Derby. She's one of our most agile skaters. And that's and Tough Biggies. And that is why. Very nice work there. Tough Biggies. Is she as fast as Little Whippet, though? <laughs> yeah. Both teams struggling with uh, what was an incredibly sticky floor. New seal, it seems, have been put on the court, and uh, both teams struggling with this new surface tonight. Yeah, nice I know, I had there. to say the floor was sticky. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stucky floor. Stucky floor, bro. Stucky floor. Well, that was a bit unfortunate. Hoping to get some more points here. Hey, Dre. Very Ray good being... call by Tough Bickies to call it off before the Sydney Jammer. Hey, Dre, being a 
the pivot for the assassins. Great balls of fire. Hopefully taking the jam. Vicky's hadn't done enough jamming, so she's back in it. Unable to get the lead this time. In a very, very fast pack. Fast and hard hitting, I would say. Not sure where the Richter City Jam is going. Come on, Richter City. Captain Rats having a little sit down. Split pack. On behalf of everyone from Sydney Roller Derby, we hope you do enjoy Special K's hand signals. He does put some extra effort into and, showing uh, you that uh, you're not the lead jammer. And uh, actually for the, for the Sydney team, uh, the Adelaide Roller Derby team has uh, just given you a big shout out. So Adelaide are watching you online. Adelaide are absolutely awesome. If any of you have the opportunity to watch Adelaide play, I highly recommend it. Sideshow Ho leading the gang here for the Assassins. And Kaiser Susie must yeah. have gotten onto the track too late. Oh no, Scandalous is way up front. My apologies. There are too many people on the track. Let's hear it for Trippy. Lee Jammer, go Trippy. She seems to be an instant crowd favorite here in Wellington. Come on, Richter City. Oh, come on, that was brilliant. You've got to cheer for that. Come on, Wellington, what do you think of Trippy Long Stockings? You know, she's like a gremlin. If you keep booing for her, she'll only get stronger. Well done, Trippy Long Stockings. Well, we've still got about 20 minutes left. The All Stars need to. That's plenty pick it of time for you guys. What's that? Plenty of time for you guys. That's like a dozen more jams. <laughs> so Perky not is sneaking up. And she's through the pack. Perky and not. she's the lead jammer. This is exactly what Richter City needs, but they need to pay attention to where the pack is. Scandal unfortunately sent to the box there after blocking when no pack was called. Let's hear it for Perky Dada! That was a good move there for Perky Nanas to call off that jam before Little Whippet could really hit the pack. Stopping Sydney from scoring is as good as scoring more points for yourself. Which is exactly what Richter City needs to do right now. Stop Sydney from scoring so they can even out that score. So our understanding is that if Sydney wins this game, that Richter City will be doing the buying of the pizza and chips at the pub afterwards. Whatever. So, so it really is a lot riding on this game. Pizza, <laughs> now, pizza now and now it's gear worth after while. the game. April of the Hun taking the game very seriously there. 
Ooh. finding a big block from Suffragette. Nice! Good blocking by Richter City. There is a stopper on the track. Well spotted. Kilty Asin must have cheated on her way through. Is that true? Now, technically, for um, any player losing a part of their uniform or any of their gear on the track should be a penalty. Was that uh, Tough Bookies losing something on her skate when she fell down? I'm not sure who lost it, but um, someone lost a toe stop. And there's now and an official a... timeout. The officials to... figuring out what, what exactly happened and what's going on. It's extremely dangerous having um, bits and pieces on the track, as you can well imagine. Um, and hence why they do safety checks at the and beginning of the game. Good old Let's Trippy Long. Let's Trippy! Trippy Long Stockings trying yeah, for a dance party. Now. Kaiser, no dance party. Come on, Richter City, on, get Kaiser. in with the dance party. Dance. Come there on, Richter, let's Savage. see you dance with us. Come on, Savage. Sydney realized that they had a player in the box and uh, oh, needed well. to get someone off the track as quickly as they could. <laughs> that was, that was, that was lucky of, they noticed. Bit of oopsie, wasn't it? That was lucky it? they had an official time in. It's, it's, you know, middle of a dance party. You can never tell how many people are there. <laughs> so all the referees are set. Haterade whispering to torture there, saying... Let's try to win this jam. And no one ever wants to go across the line. Now the pack's in the back. They've got a full pack now. And guys, it's Susie! It's the lead jammer, well done. Nice little wiggle Great through the pack. Great maneuvering through the pack. Sorry. <laughs> Did we... This is exactly what Richter City needs right now. Come on, Kaiser. A lot of gesturing from Hater Ed. The, the pivot's job is to guide the pack and to take the tactics for that jam. And of course, the jammer's job is much easier just to score the <laughs> points. Oh! Much easier. Now Richter City will want to try to get that. Make sure Sydney doesn't get through the pack. Interesting, uh, Kaiser didn't call it off there, wanting to get more points on the board. Evilicious Diva giving her good blocks. Not quite enough to stop Sydney's jammer. Wondering if uh, Kaiser should uh, call this one off. And she does. Timeout is being called by the uh, Sydney team. Sydney team trying to call a timeout here. And they do so. Sydney calls a timeout. And it seems like the Sydney coach is uh, quite angry about something in there in the middle. We could hear him from here, so. You know what I said about those uh, gremlins? <laughs> You're just making us stronger. So any idea what the complaint is about? No, I'm not sure, actually. Well, I can see from the look on Special K's face that he's 
staring skyward, wondering. Well, both teams are getting ready to start again anyway. Do tonight. Danger, danger, looking the same way. We think we're going to the Chicago bar. I hate Chicago. I hate <laughs> Chicago. That's what Dodger oh. was saying. So actually, there's been some dispute about the points. There's going to be an adjustment on the scoreboard. I think it's going to be like maybe minus 90 for Richter City for booing Trippy Longstockings. Okay, so it seems that there would be an, an extra point for red, and I couldn't catch the rest of that. Next time, I'm just going to jump down and have a listen. So there is uh, an extra point being given to the Sydney team. Uh, our apologies, we couldn't quite hear exactly what happened and, and why. There must have been a point missed, obviously. We don't need the extra point. This no, jam, you don't. We've no, you got, don't. We'll we, take it off. We, we've got Sideshow Ho as Pivot leading the way. And Little Whippet working as the jammer. And Little Whippet taking finding her way through again. Taking down the birthday girl. Happy birthday, here's the floor, we say. Hey, so when did you actually start? When did your league start? I think it was the same as you. This is a, we're coming into our third season. Whippet uh, cooling off the jam there. Brick City uh, able to come away with, I think that was two points from that jam. Two points away from cracking the hundy, but uh, that gap is opening up. Oh, we got the coach running around to the refs again. Nope. Picking oh, up the panties. The panties. I was a little nervous there for a second. Let's hear high twinkles for Winnie Bruce. Some strong blocking there from Sydney. The Wellington girls are trying to help their jammer through the pack. And a very tricky move there from Sydney, swapping the jammer to the pivot. So the pivot can become nope. the jammer. Rector City is the jammer. So, quick jam, no one scores any points, and uh, we move on to the next one. Let's see what Great Balls of Fire has in store for all of us. Oh, we've got Scandalasses Jammer. And jump around. Will they jump around? Jump. Or will they just skate around? Jump oh. up, jump up and get down. Now, Scandalass doesn't only just play roller derby. Well done. Scandal with a power move down the inside, takes that lead jammer position. With legs that long, she should be moving. Nice work by Scandalous. Just blast past that pack. And Scandal calls off the jam, stopping Sydney from scoring any points in that jam and uh, that's certainly Flooring a great tactic back. at this time. With only 12 and a half minutes to go, Rick's City really th needs to consider all its options. Oh, they're 30 points down. They really, uh, they really need to get as many points on the board as they can. I think they should put on an extra player. I think <laughs> Sydney is cougaring. I, I reckon. You, 
Sydney wouldn't mind if we just put on an extra player? I reckon we could take you. What's that? She's cougaring. She's pretty cute. She can get away with most things. She's trying to pick up a minor. <laughs> and well done by Perky oh. Nana. Perky Nana. Now this is how Richter City plays. Finding a big hole there. They've got just over 10 minutes and this is where it counts. And some this floor is actually falling. killing Sydney. And shall I add, we still have someone in the box? Killing it, not given much of a chance. Well done, Richter City. And Perky got the... five. You'll notice that that's because she passed the jammer. So she got an extra point for passing the jammer. And right at the end of that uh, jam, another blocker from Sydney got sent to the penalty box. Now it looks like uh, Sydney might have too many players on Sydney the track. Had, yeah, right now Sydney had too many players on the track. They had hey, to get somebody they're off. all good. They're all good. <laughs> Don't ham it up, guys. Come on. Got a prill of the hunt there is the pivot. Great balls of fire jamming. Rector City's definitely picking up their game. They're doing the wall. Kaiser Susie lead jam. Kaiser Susie's got her angry face on. Who knows what's gonna happen? They still have a chance here. I'm not, I'm not convinced it's an angry face. Oh. oh! That was a big tumble. She called it off, she called it off. And she calls off the jam from the ground. Able to score a lot of points. Sydney able to get a couple in there as well. So the benefit of calling the jam off on the floor is that the other players won't be able to score. The jam for this bout for Sydney is Winnie Bruce. And as pivot, we have Sideshow Ho. No pack. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, Braxton kicks. Richter's uh, jammer sent to the box, so this Richter is not... City with uh, four blockers on the track really need to take advantage of this. It's not looking good at the moment. Winnie Bruce doing a power jam. Richter so City needs to get one of the Sydney girls and speed up that pack. How good was that footwork, ladies and gentlemen, Winnie Bruce! Sideshow her controlling the pack there. And Sydney's calling off the gym. So not a good jam again there for Richter City. Too many players in the penalty box to score any points. Daisy Buchanan joining Richter City in the penalty box there. Just under eight minutes left in the bout. I'm not sure about Richter City's hand-holding tactics. Oh, they're not hand-holding, it's just touching. It's just hands. light touching. Ah, oh, it's not going to stop Haterade. 
Who are they getting? Tough bookies getting into that position that you really likes of like fucking up other people's game. Nice one. Oh, as if Trippy would have done something wrong. Well, this looks a li little bit better, too, from sitting in the box. It's not often you see the jammers actually bowing as well. Nice work there from Balls. Again, calling the jam off. Before uh, Sydney is score. calling, I think, their last official timeout. I believe so. Of the game. With six minutes left to go and a <laughs> point difference. I'm going to say it's like 30 something. Is that right? What's 30, that? 33. Yeah, that's right, right? 33. 33. Yeah. No, I figured that out. Well, Rector City can definitely close the gap. It's possible, Not sure. but I think the way Sydney has been playing, it's very unlikely. They've, they've been playing it's, very well this evening, I do have to I say. I do believe that is to be true. Did you hear that chant? We are so going to win right now. That was the chant. The game's not over yet. But that was the chant. You're not doubting the chant. I'm doubting the words. Well, Chippy Longstocking's looking very leisurely there in the penalty box. Hanging about. And Richter City needs to really focus on defense right now. And there you have it, Kaiser Susie at the front again. Now, Kenu Block has set her up for some awesome points. Kaiser Susie calling off the jam in a very, very stylish way. Sydney's still got two points on that one. I'm a big fan of the chicken dance one myself. The <laughs> <laughs> you should you? see what Suffragette does sometimes. Yeah. Nice block by Perky. <laughs> no. The crowd will let you know it. it seemed that it was uh, blocking out of bounds for uh, Perkinana. Richter City had better be careful. Your referees may pull a penalty on the crowd there for that sort of backlog. Really? The crowd gets ejected? We hope you're enjoying this soundtrack. It has been put together by our, by our panel of experts. Oh! Some big what falls was now. That? With only three and a half minutes to go, Winnie calls the jam off. You'll start to see the hits starting to get a little harder. The player's getting a little bit more desperate. And with three minutes to go, 
it does look like a bit of an ask. Uh, around about 50 points that Richter City need. It's doable, right? They've given it's it a doable. good go. They've given it a very good go. There's still three minutes left to the game. And I'm sure Richter City, regardless of the score, is going to give it their all. All right, in this, in this last... Uh, in these last few minutes, we'll just give a last minute shout out to and all of our... And lead jammer! Last minute shout out to all of our sponsors, City Link and R2, James Battlefield, Multimedia and Snapper. And Chisoo. ALC Clothing, Tattoos, Green Old Homestay, Jam Hairdressing in the Southern Cross, Calico Jack, and a whole bunch of other awesome, awesome folks. And of course, Ghetto Anger down there on the wheels of steel, playing out the tunes. Thank you very much, Ghetto Anger. Let's hear it for Ghetto Anger. Nice sounds. <laughs> well, let's not Anybody. hear it for Ghetto Anger. Ghetto uh, Anger, yay! Yeah, Ghetto Anger. It's That's never good. a good idea. No, Ghetto, no shout Ghetto out to Anger's you. mum. Are you he out speaks. There? All right, under two, under two minutes. This right. could be the last jam, especially if Richter City just walk it. Possibly there, there could be another one. You never Hater know. Hater pivoting for Sydney. Great balls of fire taking the role as jammer. Really, if this was the last jam, they just should have had two blockers, two jammers. Would have been great, great. Under a minute and a half to go. Braxton having all kinds of trouble at the back there. Getting totally hassled. And it is now a power jam for Rector City! Our 40 points possible! And ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what the score is here tonight. Thank Under you very much for your support. Richter City is very proud to have Sydney here. And we have a very unusual situation with two jammers in the box. As soon as one jammer goes in, the other one must go out. And, and with 30 seconds left to play, it looks like this one's going to go the full distance. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have anything left, now's the time to make some noise for Richter City! And Richter City Jammer just about to come back out. Go, Braxton Gates. Braxton needs Go. to get out there. Go. Go. And it's Braxton back. There's no time left on the clock. And that's the end of the jam. And that's the end of the match, ladies and gentlemen. We have to wait on the official confirmation of scores. Ladies and awesome. gentlemen, let us hear it. Awesome, awesome bout by Richter City and by uh, Sydney. We can tell you that the raffle raised over $1,700 for Christchurch, plus with Richter City, $1,000 at $2,700. And there are 1,900 of you in this building. So make some noise for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the teams are going to do a victory lap. First up, the winners tonight, Sydney, the Sydney Assassins. Well done, Sydney. We loved beating you! Oh yeah. Oh, we should be on one knee, right? Uh, oh. Yes, and, of course, the coaches having a run. Good on you. And ladies and gentlemen, Rick the City! The City! R-C-R-D, Rick the City! R-C-R-D, Rick the City! R-C-R-D, Rick the City!
<laughs> and don't forget, we're going to be taking a photo shortly. And please come join us at Chicago Bar just next door for the after party. Thank you all so very, very, very much for coming this evening. Thank you to the Sydney Assassins. And thank you so much to Wellington for being such wonderful hosts. We look forward to seeing you in Sydney on the 20 whatever of November. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a camera, get it out now because the teams are going to do their official photo photos. We're going to go this way, then we're going to go that way. When they're all done hugging. It's truly a sport of love. All the refs and officials in the middle. All right. All right, everyone. Everyone, photo that way. Official photographers may move to the front. And now, and now the exact same thing, but facing that way for it's this gonna crowd. It's going to be a fun after party. I can feel it already. <laughs> it's like herding cats, but it's totally fun. Thank you all again for coming. We'll see you at the official after party in Chicago. Drive safe. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, please come join us. Make your way outside and join us at Chicago's Bar and Grill just next door. You can meet and greet your favorite roller derby player of this evening over at the bar. We're going to try to make our way out of here as fast as possible so we can have some time to have a drink with you next door. Please don't forget, our triple header is on the 16th of April. You can get your tickets on the way out.
I'm not a man. 